Chapter 8, Questions Quila Tash I was trying to be logical about Mia Passip's family drama. Was she really the twins or Kino's mother? The trouble was, Kino wasn't here to make a claim or to offer proof of his association to Nia. On the other hand, the twins were here to lay down all the facts about their ties to Nia. We had dinner before we began packing some of the things we would need for travel. Pack lightly, I kept on telling Mayo, but he kept on putting apples inside his backpack like he was afraid we would not be passing any stall to replenish our food supplies. Ready? Mia asked. Now that Arden is not around, there's nobody else to lead us. As the oldest among us, Mia took on the role. I nodded at her. Goemi came out holding Miro's hand as though to guide him. We only have two horses with us, Mia said. I will ride with Mayo, she said. What? I muttered under my breath. Where will that leave me? I'm going to get stuck between Goemi and her crazy twin. Mayo shook his head. Better ride with the twins. Miro doesn't look happy about your suggestion, he said to Nia. I sighed in relief. Sometimes, Mayo made sense. Or maybe, he was just afraid of Miro. I mounted the smaller horse and waited for Mayo to climb from behind me. When we were all mounted, Mia kicked at the horse that she was sharing with the twins. Where to? I shouted. North. Canela, Mia said. I kicked at the horse and missed and ended up kicking Mayo's shin. Ouch. He yelped. Oops, sorry, I said. I could sense him pouting behind my back. You should learn how to accept apologies, I said. When you're deliberately kicked, do you accept apologies so easily? He said. I flushed. Was he accusing me of deliberately kicking him? I fumed. You know what, you're impossible. I don't know why Kino and Piper ever put up with you. You're the reason we're trying to rescue Kino in the first place. If you had not called him a murderer, he would not have gone running away. And he's got some loose nuts. Like you. I said. Then after I belted out, I flushed even deeper. Maya was so infuriating. I waited for him to throw back some accusing words, but all he said was, I know. I felt like I was dipped in the pond. Somehow, I felt sorry for him. Why do you think I want to rescue him so much? Because if something happens to him, I will blame myself forever. He's like a brother to me, he said softly. That's why I'm sad that Mistress Lamare doesn't remember me. She was like a mother to me too, so picture this. I, who is an outsider from her family, felt betrayed when she could not remember me. How much worse do you think Kino would feel? I thought about it for a while, maybe he would be as devastated if what Mayo was saying was true. Who was to know, though? Why did you do that? I asked. Do what? Claim that Mia is Kino's mother. Do you want to have your heart frozen by crazy Miro? Because it's the truth. Hell, it is, I muttered sarcastically. I know you don't have any reason to believe me, but give me credit on this one, all right? I wouldn't want to break up a family on a whim. Well, he certainly had a point there. But nothing seemed to really make sense. But you see them together, right? I mean, look how attached they are. Mayo laughed dryly. I only see them together now because crazy Miro kept her locked up in the room. Why do you think he keeps on locking her? Maybe because he did not want anyone to see Nia up close. That seemed valid to me. It's not that. He's very possessive of Nia. And even Goemi, I said, wondering if I should tell him about the times that Miro threw fits whenever Arden asked Goemi to come with us. I mean, that was lucid behavior to me. I also died a little inside whenever Arden did that, and that's because of jealousy. I don't know what happened after Dogen left her. Why does she have no memory? Mayo said as though thinking out loud. Well, you said so yourself that this Dogen told you that Lamare died, so why claim me as Lamare? Because she is, he said with so much certainty that for a while there, I believed him. I don't know why you're so sure about it. Because I will never forget her face. I laughed at that. What is it with boys and pretty faces? I don't understand it at all. Don't they ever realize that it's what's beneath the skin tone, the beautiful eyes and long lashes that counts? Well, the twins don't look like Nia, I said. See? I told you. And did you see Kino? Look at her. Kino's got her hair and her chin, Mayo said. 
I didn't really stare long enough at Kino to know, I said. Arden was prettier than Kino by far, and I would not waste my time staring at someone not so equally handsome. I almost choked when it hit me that I was also looking at Arden the way boys look at pretty girls. What a hypocrite I was. Then I remembered my conversation with Go and me a few days ago. The key is in their eyes, I said in a hushed voice. Mayo did not respond, so I decided to keep my mouth shut. If I told him about what I had noticed about the twins' eyes, Mayo might rage on and on about it, and it could lead to Miro freezing Mayo's heart. Even though my relationship with Mayo was far from amicable, I could not bear to see him lying on the ground, dead. We rode in silence after that.